Alrighty, welcome back to Subnautica. I've had my food and I also rested up. I went to sleep actually after I ate. But I have since the last recording did a little bit of reorganization. I just spent the last couple of hours uh, just kind of deconstructing my base and moving everything into my Cyclops. So I got rid of. Almost everything is sent, so there's still a couple of things in here. I still left the bioreactor just in case to generate power. Uh, obviously we have all these, these plant beds here that I don't really, I don't really feel like trying to dig up the aquarium, things like that. But everything else that I felt was essential, like the water filtration, the scanner room, the moon pool, uh, all the lockers and things in that, all of that has been deconstructed and their raw resources put inside of my Cyclops. So that way if I, or well, I definitely will be putting down another base at some point. Uh, when I go to make that other base, I will be able to get a pretty quick start on that. Now, I also made a couple of items or a couple of realizations as well. So while I was gathering creep vines uh, for their seed clusters, I realized, oh hey! I can actually plant the creep vine seed cluster and make the creep vines that make creep vine seed clusters, which is way better. I thought that it was just like a naturally occurring thing in the life cycle of a creep vine. Uh, and, you know, logically it probably still is. But no, so we actually have to plant the specific ones like this uh, in the exterior bed. So that will help us out when we need to make lubricant and synthetic fibers. Uh, and then I also made benazine, which requires three blood oil, which I didn't realize. I was like, oh, one blood oil for one benazine. No, 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 no. So I'm generally ready to go. I have filled my ship up to the brim with a ton of lockers, a ton of resources. And I also made the very quick realization that I need to be careful about my power consumption. Uh, or usage of items that use power. I put a radio in my base, in, it, in the power, or the Cyclops, and I didn't realize that it was sucking up power constantly until all the lights went out inside my Cyclops. That was, uh... No, no, we're, we're just not gonna have a radio inside the Cyclops. That's, that's for the better. But yeah, everything is basically as organized as it's going to be. A lot of the, uh, originally these lockers were meant for purely crafted stuff. As you can see by this first one, which is mostly purely crafted stuff. But I kind of didn't just throw everything else in here. As I started to deconstruct things. But we're good now, so let me, before we go, uh, we need to go pick up my prawn, and then I also want to check out one of the life pod signals. So we're gonna grab the Cyclops engine efficiency module and the, I made a Cyclops depth module. I thought I had the depth module. I feel like I still have it, but I couldn't find it, so I think maybe we just only had the engine efficiency. We're gonna go ahead and stuff those in. Engine efficiency now 300%! And now we can go to 900 meters with my Cyclops. Very, very good. Alright, let's go pick up the prawn, which actually also has a bunch of uh, items inside of its inventory. So that'll be nice. Engine powering up. All right, full steam ahead. I don't know the full controls of my submarine, but in most of it's pretty obvious. C to go down, space to go up, uh, A to kind of turn sideways. I would like a more dedicated like side turn button, but I don't think we really get that. I think the Cyclops is just going to be a very, very slow moving vehicle, so we got to watch out for that. Whoops. I don't know if I should turn on my... I, I think the third speed option is more or less there purely for running away. I think flagged emergency spawning. Face is activated. Excessive noise. So I gotta... I gotta be careful with it. I think I could kind of mix things up and like have the speed go for a while. Or be on third level speed for a while, and then, you know, make sure my ship doesn't catch on fire. But I'll more than likely just keep it on the second level as much as possible. <laughs> oh boy. So the downside to the Cyclops is while it is 
an amazing giant mobile base. It is still a massive structure that can run into things and get stuck on stuff. So we're going to have to be careful with how we maneuver ourselves around. And also, we got to be terrified of the big creatures. I have no idea if you can even kill a reaper, but if Margaret can kill one with a knife or a metal shard, I can try. We'll see. All right, I should probably get rid of this. Did I put anything else inside of here? Welcome aboard, Captain. No, this is basically sort of an okay refuge. Uh, let's deconstruct this. So I can use these resources elsewhere. Warning, emergency power only. There we go. <laughs> That's basically my new habitat in a nutshell there. All right. Now, where is the crush depth life pod? Let's see. There was a life pod that was down by at like 900 meters. Sunk to the ocean bed. I don't think that's it, because it's at 250. Proposed Degasi habitat. We, we, we've been in there, but that's also not what we're looking for. Although there is, I think, an alien facility below it. I remember hearing RPDA mention that. Life pod sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. We found that. There was a leviathan above it, and that was kind of scary. Where the fuck is the thing I'm looking for? Oh, boy. Welcome to the captain. Hey, Bron. All right. Oh, I made the grappling arm. I should, uh, <laughs> I'll uninstall that in a second. Okay. So, geological data. Nope, that's not it. Data downloads. Aurora survivors. Nope, that's just the logs. I, uh... I don't know... where my... info is. Everything got minimized here. Holy shit. So now I gotta, like, go through everything and go, what? What's here? What's here? Two birth emergency life pod! The thing we came in. I'm still sad that we don't have co-op. I thought the game was gonna definitely have co-op by the time it came out, but I think I think they just said, nah, no point. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the far off future. Alright. I we definitely got something that was like once you get down to this depth, it's dangerous. Be careful. That sounds awful. Stranded near a life pod and under attack. We've been to every single life pod, I think. Maybe we'll go back to life pod too. We didn't really fully explore that area. Although that's way in a different direction than I actually want to go into. See, I want to head back to the spook zone to the treader zone. Because it feels like maybe I need to do some exploration of those areas, and like, set up in those areas. Because I think it's about time for us to start moving into the zones that are quite a bit more dangerous, but have the resources we need to continue progressing. I'm not sure, alright. Another thing that we can use is the alien data. So... Terminal data. We know that there are... other facilities. I just need to find out where they are. Where the fuck is everything? <laughs> everything got minimized since the last time I played! So I'm very confused as to where it went. Codes and clues? Note to self. So here we are finally Nova's base. Oh, no. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was an actual note from my character to themselves. Here we go. Alien facility locations. Alright. So... 
disease research facility, 800 meters. Thermal power facility, 100, uh, 1,200 meters, not 120. Holy shit. I think that we're a good bit away from actually going to these alien facilities. Oh boy. Let's go park my prawn, if it'll let me. Look at my jet. It's, it's terribleness. I'm trying! I'm right there! Ah! Darn. It's alright. It's gonna take some getting used to. I pretty much have to get, like, directly underneath the Cyclops and hold space. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. Alright, well, we're gonna head over to the spook zone and kind of start getting an idea of what we want to do there. Or we could head to the Degasi habitat that I don't know where to go from here. See, beforehand we were kind of like following life pods uh, and just finding stuff around those. But now we don't, we haven't got any radio transmissions. Maybe we've ran out or just haven't triggered the next step. I'm not sure. Boop. I'm terrified. <laughs> I, I'm really terrified about what's gonna happen. But we have to press forward. Let me organize my inventory real quick. Also, we're, I think we're gonna stop using the sea glide, just so we can focus on constantly using my prawn. That'll give me a good bit of inventory space. It gives me like six slots to not use that, so that's always good. I can't even color this thing here. I can only modify it. That's fine. All right, now we have ourselves a grappling arm. Fires a, a grappling hook for enhanced environment traversal. Maybe I can grapple onto uh, my cyclops. That would be pretty convenient. All right, everything just go away in here. Or not. <laughs> Everything's full. This is my fault. Shoot. All right. Let's get a move on. It's time to enter the spooky zones. The spooky areas of the game. So can I drive while... Oh, cool! Ah! Are we okay? Did we take damage? Not really. I hit something. I couldn't see it. So I can actually use the cameras and uh, steer my ship around. That's nice. That'll help out in trying to avoid certain dangers. Although we'll see what it's like further down below. I think a lot of the areas at the the really uh, lower depths aren't as filled up with life like this. So they should be a little easier to navigate in terms of ship blocking our way. Maybe a little harder to navigate in terms of things trying to kill us along the way. Powering down. Oh shit, what? No. Powering up. Turn that back on. I didn't think I could turn my engine off from up here. I just looked down and I guess that's one way to do it. I don't know if that's like an officially supported thing or if it just it's just weird. You know, like, oh well you look down and your character's technically looking down and he's looking at the engine off button. But you can't see your character looking at the engine off button because you're at the camera and we didn't really program it well. I'm not sure. We'll just say it's a feature. It makes sense to be able to turn off your, your camera without having to go all the way back to, like, here. Yeah, these are good placements for the camera. I can see what's below me, what's above me, what's behind me. I don't know if I ever want to see what's behind me when we're being chased. Whoops, is that dead? It's dead. <laughs> it made contact with the wrong kind of thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. We 
are entering the spook zone. And I can't see for shit because we chose the worst time of day to do this. There's a warper. You think a warper can mess with me? It probably can. Let's be real here. I don't know exactly what it can do, but I guess it's time to find out as early as possible. This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. <laughs> seven of the nine, huh? I mean, at least it's not nine out of nine. Oh boy. We have this like pinging sonar thing going on, but I don't think it's an actually effective sonar. I want to see if I can piss off this thing. I'm- I'm honking my horn at you! What do you think about that, Warper? I don't think the Warpers can do anything to my Cyclops. I don't think- they- they- they definitely noticed! They're definitely hovering around, waiting for me to get out. Yeah, alright guys. <sighs> I don't even know what I need. Let's get to my camera here. My underbelly camera should allow us to descend without dying. Yeah, I don't know what resources to hunt for now. I need to find nickel and uh, other stuff. Oh shit. Hey! Hey! Fuck off! Go away! Alright, there's a creature that, that actually will try to attack us. I should have figured these assholes would do that. Oi! Stop trying to attack my ship! Maybe if I turn off all the lights, everything will be fine. Yeah, okay. Rig for Simon running. It's still trying to prod the ship. Maybe it'll lose interest. Yeah, okay. I mean, at least it's not doing a shit ton of damage. Yet? But it is being a pest. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if I can kill it. I don't know if this is this is a good idea. But you know, we have a lot of healing supplies. So at least there's that. Good luck to us! I'd like this thing to stop fucking attacking us. That is not my stasis gun. Here we go. I have this in a completely wrong order. Kablamo! <laughs> this is where you die! Whatever the fuck you are! We'll scan it when it's dead. When it stops jostling around, that's when we'll know we're a little bit on the safer side. Ow. Fair enough. You coward. Fine. Ampule. We'll have to read the description on that. Look, I didn't come to this planet to be a pacifist. Fucking scientist. 
I didn't want to come to this planet at all. It just kind of happened to work out that way. All right, I think it's dead. That was a lot of effort. Is it still alive? Oh shit, what? I couldn't hit it anymore, so I just assumed it was fucking dead. <laughs> My melees were like going through it. It might not be possible for me to kill this thing. I have, I honestly don't know. That's a little frustrating. Because I'd like to not be attacked by a giant electric eel. But I'm not sure. Maybe, you know what? We're going to try something. You see, my hope was that my stasis thermal knifing tactics could kill it pretty handedly. That didn't end up happening. I might need a little bit more power. I mean, of course, I can just... I can stasis it and not really worry. I don't have to try and kill it. I just feel safer when something isn't floating around trying to murder me. Alright. I'm gonna use my drill arm to take it out! Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, ah! I can use the grappling hook to grapple onto the creatures. Although the grappling hook has a little bit of a limited range. I'll have to kind of get used to it. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to kill this hill. Ah! Ha -ha! I'm grappled onto you! You didn't like that, did you? Where'd it go? Is it dead? No, it fucked off. Fine, fair enough. I was hoping to stay latched onto it with my grappling hook and just drill it to death. It didn't work out that way. Oh well. What is this? Whoops. What is- no, I want this. Blood oil. Oh. Why is it a different shade? That's so odd. At least with my prawn suit, I can explore with a little less worry. Because if something does attack me while I'm out in the open, well, they hit the prawn suit first. It'll still be terrifying, but whatever. Alright, I want to find out what those are. Are they just more blood kelp? Just in different... Le or grown in different ways? That's kind of creepy. What was that? Oh! Jesus! They're bigger crawlers! That's terrifying. What the fuck? Blood crawler. An agile territorial scavenger that moves in packs across the seabed. Closely related to the amphibious cave crawler, but adapted to deep sea conditions. Legs. The greatest difference between the crawlers on 4546B are the four legs, which extend more than a meter from the blood crawler's torso, allowing it to move at surprising speed across the seabed and even to scale walls. Yeah, fuck that. The blood crawler can lower its entire body to bring its mandibles within grasping distance of the carrion on which it feeds, while retaining the maneuverability it requires to avoid its predators. Necessary waste recycler. Avoid or incapacitate. Well, I more or less just killed it. What about, uh... Well, we just fought the ampule. Carnivores. 
Ampial. A powerful and inquisitive predator found inhibiting the deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. Electrical prongs. Torsal mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current, which the ampule uses to incapacitate its prey. A large, flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth. If a faster, stronger, and hungrier predator lives on the reefs, it appears to avoid the ampule. <laughs> so it's a pretty, pretty bad thing to go against. Vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry. Almost always hungry. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like 100% always angry. Well, there's quite a bit here. Might as well drill it out. That's what the prawn's for. Uh oh, a fool. That's not good. We're gonna make my way back to the Cyclops and bring it over here. Go away, bite. Are these different biters? Oh, look at that. Oh, they're blighters. That's unpleasant sounding. Do they poison us? Small predator that shares close resemblance to the more common biter, but tends towards a more solitary, less aggressive hunting style. All factory stock. While the red tip uh, protrusion on the blighter's head once served as sensory apparatus, it is adapted not to chase, but to coax its prey into its path. As prey creatures are attracted to the dancing of the stock, the blighter can dart forward to catch and consume them. Ah, oh, all right. Eyes. This creature has found little use for its eyes in the deep, dark caverns it, it inhabits, and its eyeballs are likely sensitive to no nothing more than broad fluctuations in local light sources. E.g. when a meal is crossing its path. <laughs> Assessment. Avoid or incapacitate. Everything is avoid or incapacitate. So... One of the things we need is uranite, and holy shit, this area has a ton of it. Because we need uranite to make nuclear reactor rods. And, uh, well, thankfully, I, I found the area for that already. Ghost weed. Grows exclusively in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible on the fewest wavelengths. This place is so spook. So spook. Oops, that's not what I want. I'm trying to gain some speed here because that's the problem with the prawn versus the Seamoth. Seamoth, very fast, lots of storage. Prawn, well, depends on how good you are with the grappling hook. But we did get some speed there. That was pretty intense. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, awkward problem. I need to access the storage of my prawn. Can I get to it from here? Hmm. Maybe from the top? I don't want to leave the ship just to get all the stuff from out from it. that. Okay, it wasn't a creature. I should probably repair my ship. We definitely took a little bit of damage. I need another locker. Let me make one. Specifically for my uranite habitat builder. I don't know where I'm going to put it. We kind of used a lot of the slots around here. That's all right. We'll figure it out. I can put it in here. I wanted to keep this room as empty as possible of stuff, but we need we need storage. I just put a blood oil somewhere. Uh, we'll put it in here for now, just to clear out my inventory space. Now, can I access storage from here? I cannot. That is annoying. Oh, 
Alright. We'll just leave it out there for now. Did my ship even get damaged? From the ampule attack? I guess maybe not. Or it automatically repairs. I don't know. Or maybe I have to repair from inside? I don't see anything talking about repair. Also, I was surprised to find out that I can put stuff down there. I know <laughs> I even consider putting lockers down there, but no, we'll, we'll hold off. Alright, so what do I have a bunch of from that? Salvage. Sure. I need to find a place to put a habitat. I just don't know how much we're going to do in this area. I want to find another place that was like the last one, where we know we're going to be there for a very long period of time because of its close proximity to just tons of resources or advancement in the general area. So, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> My inventory's filling up quite a bit. Oh, you know what? I need to eat. At least this area doesn't have any leviathans. I know a leviathan will mess us up as soon as they get a chance. Or at least the reaper. Still want to see a dead warper at some point. Not because I want to actually see one, but I just don't want them... I want to see if I can defend myself properly from them. Or will it always just be stun and run away? Where the hell's my lithium thing? Here we go. We're good on lithium and lead for uh, for a long while, that's for sure. Same thing with quartz and salt. What I'm not so good on is table coral. <laughs> I don't think there's table coral down in the, the further depth, so we gotta watch out for that. Alright. For the sake of having extra space in my inventory, we're just gonna dump all this off. Okay. Let's get back to my prom. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright! Oh, wait. Never mind. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I just remembered that I wanted to bring my my sub all the way over to the other area. Oh shit! What's taking power? Oh no, we're at thirteen percent. Uh emergency. Emergency. My power cell's running out, and I don't know what was draining it. Twelve percent. I don't know what percent we were at when we got over here, so we could have been at fourteen percent already. But oh my god. If there's something draining power on uh, while we're just chilling around, because I don't think you use power while you're uh, not moving. Oh boy. Alright, I think it's uh I think we're gonna make a habitat, because I need I need to have power. Otherwise bad things are gonna happen to us. Alright. So I need to make I need titanium lead. And then, I also might make a nuclear reactor room. Because there's tons of, of uh, resources here for us to make nuclear reactor rods. So I might as well capitalize on it. I think. What else does it require? That's going to be the, the biggest decider. Okay, I think it was further up, actually. Get off of my ship. You're not even an ampule. Otherwise, my ship would be like, WARNING CREATURE ATTACK! Alright, hold on, let me make sure... Is my power still draining? It is. I don't know if that's just because we're filling up my prawn with power, or if there's something taking up power that I don't... ...know what we're doing. Because, I mean, we haven't crafted really anything. We've crafted a couple of things. Maybe the modification station takes up power? 
No, it'd be like the fabricator where it doesn't use up power until you've made something with it. I hope. Maybe engine powering down. Maybe the engine being online just takes up power. I could see that. <laughs> Cuz I wasn't using the engine obviously when we were back at my other base. So I'm, I'm this is learning for me. Ugh. All right. Let's get my items out here. At least I can get rid of a lot of this titanium soon. All right. Nuclear reactor, advanced wiring kit, plastic ingot, lead. Ooh. Actually, awkward moment. <laughs> I can't fabricate anything without power. Oh boy. 